Hello, I am Dr. Sivaraman, Senior Shoulder Elbow Consultant from Chennai. Uh, today we say about uh, what is a shoulder arthroscopy or a keyhole surgery is a patient awareness video which we will this is the camera we will put inside the shoulder if you see here the camera goes inside the shoulder we use the other instruments to go inside the shoulder and do the uh, the various surgeries in the shoulder through the keyhole we will see just briefly see about uh, what the surgeries we will do in the with the shoulder keyhole like uh, we did the patient having a recurrent dislocation of shoulder we do the labrum is called the labral repair in which we will do the bankart repair which is like a bankart lesion which happens here the labral tear which will attach it with the anchors we will attach this tissue back in place with the help of anchors and sutures here which is called as a bankart we will do along with the remplissage in which we will attach the capsule in the back here as well and um, Next surgery, most common surgery we'll do the next one is the cuff repair in which we will do the um, uh, the the you see in the cuff muscles in the shoulders in which if it is a torn here, this we will attach it back in place with the help of anchors and uh, sutures there. This is called a cuff repair. Other surgery we'll do in the case of patients having a biceps tendinopathy their biceps problem. We will attach the biceps back into the humeral head, which is called biceps stenodesis. If we just only the cut the biceps, it is called biceps stenotomy. And the other procedure we'll do under the keyhole surgery is the uh, AC joint, acromioclavicular joint excision, which is usually done for the patients with acromioclavicular joint arthritis, which is done through the keyhole. We will just take the some part of the lateral clavicle off, therefore the patient won't have much pain with it. Another surgery we'll do is a slap repair in which superior labrum anterior to posterior tear we attach this back in place with the help of anchors and sutures which is called as a slap repair these are the surgeries we will do there are some more surgeries we will do through the keyhole surgeries are like a bursectomy impingement capsular release there's uh, so many surgeries we can do through the keyhole surgery this is just awareness video for the patients to understand what are surgeries can be done through the keyhole and uh, arthroscopy shoulder arthroscopy thank you it's a um, the shoulder anatomy, the arthroscopic anatomy of the shoulder which we will see like uh, what we do through the keyhole in which this is the humeral joint, uh, this is the humerus, this is the glenohumeral, uh, the, the glenoid, we, this is the biceps tendon which is say we say it as a lighters of the shoulder joint and uh, this is the subscapularis tendon, the tendon, the cuff muscle in the front of the thing, this is a capsule here and um, this is a bubble sign which is present means that means the cuff is intact the muscles are intact there is not escape through the tear that's what we mean the bubble sign is there and uh, we will put the insert the instruments through these holes and if you come through the this side we will see the cuff muscles here uh, this is we will see the biceps inside the biceps to see any damage to the biceps tendon like a tendinopathy or anything there this is the cuff muscle rotator cuff muscle attachment here this is all no tear there we can see small, small fraying there but Apart from there is no much tear there in that cuff muscles. We come to the back side of the shoulder, which we can see this is the bare area here. Bare area of the shoulder is a normal normal thing, it is not a hill sack lesion. And we will just come again to the cuff muscle here. We will see the biceps and the cuff muscle here. And I will show you the other joints. You can see the inferiorly, can, this is the labrum in which this is the normal labrum. That is uh, if we dislocate the shoulder, there will be a torn in the thing. This is the inferior capsule here inferior capsule of the rectum, the Hegel lesion happens here is a humeral attachment will be attached from the gone from the capsule is a Hegel lesion happens here and this is a posterior part we have seen it before and coming to the superior part coming again to anterior and the biceps again here okay this is the normal shoulder anatomy there is no pathology there is no problem in this shoulder this is how we look like uh, when you go inside with the keyhole with arthroscopy of the shoulder okay thank you